Ian, a tough day at the office here at Pride Park. What did you make of it? Exactly that. Really tough, uh, really tough game. Look, I think without a doubt the better team won and the scoreline uh, is 100% the right scoreline. We were we weren't close to them today. I thought they were they were very very good. I thought it was a masterclass from a Goldrick. Um, you can see how good he is and uh, why he's played right at the very top. I thought he was outstanding. I think that we didn't start the game particularly well. We, if we're going to come away here, we, we need to be able to frustrate the crowd. But when they get the early goal, of course, it's a long way back and a, a long afternoon. And listen, we felt their quality today. They were very, very good. Um, and it's credit to them and some lessons that we have to take with us. It was a tough afternoon, but it was a tough afternoon before a ball was even kicked, wasn't it? With was sort of the cards you were dealt with in terms of, of illness. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a rough week. Obviously, I didn't allude too much to it in the pre-match presser because I didn't want to give too much away. But um, Miles Mar Harris got a knock right at the end of the week. He had some stitches in his foot um, that he's not quite recovered. He'll be fine for, for Boxing Day. Uh, Dylan McGeo, Ben Stevenson was really unwell before the game but wanted to try and push through it. But you saw that he had to come off at half-time. So we kind of lost our midfield three from last week and Connor Wickham. So, look, we, we rotated more than we would have liked to have done. Off the back of back-to-back -back wins, I think we'd have liked to have kept a bit more continuity. Um, we couldn't do that today and, yeah, the balance wasn't quite there for us. 2-0 at half-time, do you feel like you were still in it at that point, especially the, the big chance that was created by Corey O'Keefe for, for Brian? If I'm honest, no, I didn't think that we were... like We created a big chance and, and of course, if you come to a way to a place like this, you have to take the, the chances that you try to create. And it was a big chance. Um, when we don't take that, it's a long way back still. I think at 2-0 at, at half-time, we wanted to come out and have a go. But look, the reality is the quality that they showed, they were the, they were the better team without a doubt. Was the manner of the second half the most disappointing thing in terms of yeah. offering a threat in the final third? Yeah, it was. Not, not even that, I just I felt like, of course, they they gain confidence, especially after the third goal, and we're a little bit deflated, but we have to stand up and, and we have to be braver in the challenge and we have to physically impose ourselves, I thought. Um, we looked we looked beaten after the third goal and I don't like that when we look like that. Uh, we have to be a little bit more resilient. But look, um, I'm not going to take too much away from the players because I think they've taken some positive steps forward in recent weeks. If you'd have said after the Wickham game, that would have gone seven points out of Oxford, Cambridge, Cheltenham. Um, and we knew that this month was a big month, but we took six points from the first two games. We knew this was going to be a difficult one. We have to dust ourselves down and really focus on, on some massive games in terms of MK Dons and, um, and Burton. There were players, there were players coming back, Dope sitting on the pitch, David Davis getting 45 and, and Matty coming onto the bench as well. Yeah, look, even looking at Dokes, I, think, I don't think tactically that was something that necessarily I felt needed changing. Um, but I also saw it as a window of opportunity for Dokes to be able to get 25 minutes valuable match play, which, which he got. And, I think the first 10 minutes or so was a shock to the system for him, but uh, it'll be better for that. And it's another step in the right direction for him. Matty Stevens reintroduced into the squad, um, still not quite ready, but um, he gave us something in and around the dressing room. And he'll, he'll hopefully, providing no setbacks, be ready for, for MK Dons as well. So I'm, I'm positive that, you know, within nine days' time when we play again, that the, the outlook's a little bit different in terms of availability and strength of the squad. You mentioned it, a nine-day break now before a, bit, a busy week, a busy festive period. You know, how do you look at that now? I think we need a few days to recover. I think it's been a, a tough few weeks. If we can use a couple of days just to rest, recover, and make sure everybody comes back healthy on Wednesday, and then we'll have some, some tough days training uh, leading up to, to Boxing Day. So, um, yeah, look, it, it's, um, we need to, to focus just on the next game now.